if you're an Orgraph fan, you know that there are links in here that are citations, and if you put your mouse on it, you get a little message in the mini buffer that tells you what the paper is. And as you move the mouse around, it will update and automatically tell you what's on the, the point under key, or key under point. These are also clickable. If you click on it, you get a menu. Um, but one of the things that I've been interested in is why can't I just put my mouse over and get a tooltip? And I've recently learned how to do that. So here's the, the short code that, that does it. Basically, tooltips are done in font lock, and we just have to add the appropriate dynamic tip uh, to each piece. So I write a function that is going to find the next site link, and all it does is it searches forward for the regular expression that we use to turn these green in the first place. And when it finds one, it adds a text property. And the text property is to put help echo on it. You can give a function to help, help echo, and it takes uh, th these three arguments. And all we want to do is make the mouse go to the position so that it's on the key. We can get the citation string at point, And then uh, I fill it so that it's a nice uh, small size. And then that gets returned as the help echo. We can add those keywords to, to the buffer like this, so we just add uh, this function and how to, how to uh, fontify it. And then we'll add the, uh, we'll re-fontify the buffer. And if you want this to happen in every org mode file you ever do, you can use this add hook function. Okay, so we'll run that. And now let's go back up here and check it out. We see that still works, but now I can put my mouse over it and see the particular one uh, that I want without having to move the cursor. I find when I'm reading Word documents, especially final versions of manuscripts, that I'm more likely to move the mouse around for this kind of purpose. It's a short post today. Hope you enjoyed it.